Jacques Lipschitz was born in Lithuania and as a young man moved to Paris to be part of the international art scene. Of course, Paris at that time, in, he moved there in 1909, was already well established. The Impressionists and the Post-Impressionists were already kind of, uh, had joined the modern art mainstream. When Lipschitz arrived in Paris in 1909, um, Paris had been well established as a centre of modern art. It was re well recognised that the, it was the centre of any developments, any avant-garde in art was in Paris. And uh, uh, Picasso, uh, although he was probably still known only to a relatively small group of collectors, had already produced in 1907 his famous Demoiselle d'Avignon, uh, which is probably the most famous Cubist painting in the history of Cubism. Lipschitz kind of almost comes to this scene with a kind of conservative uh, and traditional uh, view, but uh, through uh, the good offices of Diego Rivera, he, his friend, he was introduced to Picasso and they became well acquainted. And, uh, and within some short time, uh, Lipschitz becomes uh, very committed to the ideals of Cubism and becomes one of its pioneers. The sculpture in our auction, Homme Assise à la clarinette, the, the seated man with a clarinet, uh, was originally conceived in 1919 and produced uh, many years later when Lipschitz was already a well-established and well-known name. And at the time, Lipschitz, Lipschitz was actually struggling and uh, unable to realise the uh, objects that he was conceiving in his mind um, he wasn't able to produce bronzes and sculpt and marbles fully realized because he simply couldn't afford to. But uh, the sculptures remained with him as maquettes, as working drawing or working models, if you like. And uh, later in his life, uh, they were individually uh, produced and uh, together with a number of other sculptures which Lipschitz returned to from his earlier days. Omar sees a la clarinet consists of a series of planes, interlocking planes. It actually is classic cubism from that period, from the mid-1915-16 period where Juan Gris and Picasso are creating what was known as synthetic cubism. And you have these interlocking squares and planes. Interestingly enough, it refers almost back to uh, if you think of Lipschitz's uh, background as a builder and, and uh, engineer, uh, and in fact Lipschitz has been quoted as saying that uh, the works at this time were so intricate uh, and they were so constructed uh, that he was able to almost work them on a blueprint, uh, which is an interesting reflection or a reference back to his uh, earliest training in, in the building industry. In 2011, Menzies sold Lipschitz Arlequin a la clarinette, roughly from the same period as our sculpture. Uh, in 2011, the Australian dollar, incidentally, was worth uh, one dollar and six US. Um, and when we sold it in 2011, the sculpture fetched the very significant Australian dollar price of eight hundred and forty-two thousand seven hundred and twenty-seven dollars, which equates to eight hundred and ninety-five thousand US. Nowadays, 895,000 US is worth approximately, in Australian dollar terms, about 1.25 million. The buyer of the sculpture will be buying it uh, on prices based clearly on international markets and current exchange rates, uh, which would be very favourable to, to acquiring a sculpture of this kind at this time.